Hi, everyone. If you're like me and using Visual Studio Code, you probably sometimes come across a situation where you want to mock an API call. If you don't have a backend yet, if, for instance, you're, all you want to do is just to call an API and get some response for it, and you preferably want to control the result of that API so that it is not like hosted remotely and you have no access to it, the best extension that I can recommend in Visual Studio Code for that is called Live Server. So in this video, we're going to have a quick look at how to utilize Live Server to create local APIs on your computer so that you can make an API call and just grab a response. So the first thing that you'll need to do is to go to Visual Studio Code's extensions um, right here and search for Live Server and install it. For me, I've already installed that, so I don't have to do it again, but you'll have to install and maybe you'll have to actually relaunch your Visual Studio Code for those changes to take effect. After doing that, what you'll need to do perhaps is just to create a little folder here in your um, normal project. So here I have a Flutter project, but you don't have to have a Flutter project. It could be literally any project. It could be an empty project. It doesn't necessarily have to contain anything at all. So go ahead and create a folder in here. I'm just going to create a folder. I'm going to call it APIs. In this APIs, I mean, again, it doesn't have to be named API. So I'm going to create a file, for instance, get people or get persons. JSON. And in here, I'm going to create an array and create an object, call it name, foo. And it has another property age of 20, for instance. OK. And I'm going to copy the same object and put it here. So let's say this is my fake API, foo bar and 30, age 30 for bar. OK. Then all you'll have to do is just to bring up your co command palette with Command Shift P on Mac or Control Shift P with Linux and Windows and just type live server. And then you can say open with live server. After doing that, a new browser window will be open for you. It kind of looks like this for me. And you can see it is listing all the folders inside the current project. And they're all live, meaning that there's a local web server, as you can see in here. It's a server started at port 5500. So every file in the current project will then be available as an API. It will be available on a web server, which is locally deploy deployed to your computer. So then you can go to this APIs folder, and then there's your JSON. So you can see there's a JSON API on, on top here, which you can basically use, for instance, in your Flutter application or your MAUI application, whatever you want to do, and grab its content. So I thought to share this tip with you because it is very, very useful when you're just developing something locally and you want to test some APIs quickly. I hope you enjoyed this video and leave me a comment or like if you want to. Thank you.